Hi guys, today let's discuss a late code question 189, rotate array. Given an integer array nums, rotate the array to the right by k steps where k is non-negative. Let's go to the example 1. The input nums array is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and k is equal to 3. When k is equal to 3, the last 3 that is 5, 6, 7 will be moved to the start. Let's go to the example 2 as well. In the example 2, the nums array is minus 1, 100, 3 and 99 and k is equal to 2. So the last two elements that is 3 and 99 will be at the start of this output. And let's go to the constraint section as well. The nums dot length is varying from 1 to 10 to the power of 5 and uh, nums of i can range from minus 2 to the power of 31 to 2 to the power of 31 minus 1. And the k is a non-negative so it is ranging from 0 to 10 to the power of 5. Yeah, I hope it is very clear from this question description. Let's go into the explanation part of it. For the purpose of explanation, I am considering example 1 that is provided in the question description. For simplicity, I am recreating input nums array at the bottom. So I have marked the separation between 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5, 6, 7. The reason being k is equal to 3. So that is the reason I have created a partition between this. Now let's look at the indices where the corresponding elements are in the final output. We can see that 5 is at index position 0, 6 is at index position 1, 7 is at index position 2 and so on till 4 is at index position 6. So 5 is moved to the first position and 4 is moved to the last position. So I would like everyone to give it a try. So the uh, hint is going to be using the reverse logic. We are going to do something like this. We are going to reverse 1, 2, 3, 4, then we are going to reverse 5, 6, 7 and the final output of this, we are going to reverse it again. When we are reversing this 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5, 5, 6, 7, we get the output like below. So the output is going to be 4, 3, 2, 1, 7, 6, 5. So the 4 which is which should be present at the, uh, at the last position is present at the first position. And 5 which is supposed to be present at the 0th index is present at the last position. So that is the reason we are reversing it again. When we are reversing it again, the output becomes like this. So the output is 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4. By using a simple reverse logic, we are able to rotate the nums array. I hope it is very clear from this explanation. Let's go into the coding part of it. Let's start by creating a function called reverse. So given a start and end, we should be able to reverse this from the start to end. So while start less than end, nums of start comma nums of end equal to nums of end comma nums of start and we are going to increment the start and also decrement the end. Yeah, our reverse function is completed. Then we are going to do k is equal to k percentile length of nums. So we are doing this one because it gets repeated after k. So which means that for 0 and 7, the, the input nums array is going to look same. And first we are going to do the reverse for the first part. So it is the start is going to be 0 and the end is going to be length of nums minus 1 minus k. And the second part it is going to be reverse, the start is going to be length of nums minus k and the end is going to be length of nums minus 1 and for the complete nums array it is going to be reverse of 0 comma length of nums minus 1. I hope we are done. Let's quickly run the code. Yeah, it is accepted. Let's quickly submit as well. Yeah, it is submitted. Hope you like the explanation. If you like the explanation, please give a thumbs up. And for more such videos, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.